Hey everyone, today we're making our own twirly yarn bowl called a yarn genie. So let's get started. So for supplies, we're going to be using a bunch of dowels and we also need some eyelets, a bolt snap and cup hooks. Uh, for your dowels, you're going to use a one inch square dowel, a five eighths inch round dowel and a really skinny five sixteenths inch um, round dowel. You're also going to need a scrap piece of two by four and one singular three and a half inch screw. So, um, so right now I am just cutting all of my wood and what I did was I eyeballed everything and used that skein of yarn right there to, um, kind of measure out like how long I needed each of the pieces to do but because I did all that I can tell you guys the measurements so first um, you're gonna cut your square dowel to 15 inches and that's going to be the um, vertical height of your wool genie and then the round dowel I'm measuring out right now which is the 5 8 inch dowel uh, that's going to be, let me see, seven and a quarter inches. Um, and then when I drill the hole, we're going to be putting the dowel a little bit like all the way through that hole and then kind of out the other side. Um, the, um, I'm going to use uh, a five eighths inch spade bit to drill the hole through the square dowel for that five eighths inch round dowel right uh, and so make sure you have some spade bits handy this will be the only time you use it and see there's the hole right there right through the center of the square um and then all i'm doing is like i said we're going to take this round dowel which is going to be like the arm of the wool genie and kind of using a rubber mallet so it's gentler sort of and hammering it in and see how it goes kind of through all the way that it's super super in there you can use a little wood glue if you like i didn't uh, now, on the end of that round dowel, I'm screwing in a cup hook. There you go. And I'm just hand screwing that in and then tightening it with a pair of pliers is all, but super simple. Um, and then make sure it's facing up like that because it's going to hold the bolt snap and the skein of yarn up. Uh, now I'm taking the rest of that 5 8 inch round dowel and this is going to be the little arm that you're going to... Um, put through the middle of your skein of yarn, all right? Uh, and what I did was I went ahead uh, to measure it was I screwed in one of the eye screws to the top of it, uh, just so I could like get the length and then making a mark of how long I want it to be. And so this piece is going to be 10 and 5 8 inch long, all right? So it's pretty long. Um, I did that. I'm using like my biggest skein of yarn I have. It's just a wait for um, to kind of, you know, like maximize the space, but it'll smoosh a little bit too. So you don't need to go too, too crazy. Um, and then now once I've got that cut and like I said, the eyelets in, I'm drilling a hole at the bottom here. I'll flip it around in a second. So there's the top with the eyelet and then here's the bottom with the hole. And so that hole, you're going to use a five sixteenths inch bit to drill a hole right through the middle. And that is going to be where we're going to put our five sixteenths inch dowel through. And that's going to be a, um, used as a pin to hold the bottom of your yarn. And so we'll be able to take it in um, and out easily to add and remove yarn. And since it's a really skinny dowel, I'm just using my flush cut saw to saw it really quick. Um, be sure you're sanding all the edges of everything because it's gonna go through yarn and see. And then right through, this is the pin we just cut, right through the bottom. And then like I said, that is going to hold the bottom of your skein and then the eyelet is going to be the top of course so there you go i also tapered the edges of that really tiny dowel a little bit so it'd be easier to put in uh, now i'm just kind of marking uh, the bottom of the square dowel onto my base which is just a scrap piece of two by four i found and it happens to be 14 inches long so that's what i'm using I wanted to make sure it was long enough so it wouldn't wobble as you're pulling the yarn and knitting or crocheting, right? Um, 
And now I'm marking a centerpiece on where I traced the square dowel there, um, just a center hole, and I'm drilling a pilot hole for my screw. And I'm using a 1 8 inch bit right here uh, for the screw. The screw is a number 10 screw, so that's a fine pilot hole. And then I'm gonna drill the same size hole on the bottom of the base of the square dowel. See, just like that. And so I wanted to do this to make a pilot hole to make sure the screw didn't like go in lopsided and this way it goes in straight and doesn't like drill through the edge of the, um, the dowel. Then I'm just gluing it together to set. You let that dry for an hour, right? And then now I've got the whole thing turned upside down, clamped, and I'm drilling in the screw through the pilot hole through the bottom of the base. And so there you go. I'm also letting the screw sink a little bit so that the base sits flat. So really give it a good drill in there. Um, now all that's kind of left is to put it together. So you can see the hook holds the bolt snap, holds the eyelet, right? Uh, and then we are going to uh, test it out with a piece of yarn. So you're gonna take off the little like yarn arm, I guess, I don't know. Um, push it through the middle of your skein. And again, this is, this is a pretty big skein of yarn and that's what I wanted to use. And so you push it out through the bottom, you put the pin in and then you just hook it back into the bolt snap and voila, look at that. It's like not wobbly, not moving, not doing anything and you can set it up and like pull the yarn to your heart's content. It's really nice if it's hard um, to get a center pull out of a certain skein, which sometimes it kind of is. Like I definitely don't um, always find the center pull or when you pull it out, you have a bunch of yarn vomit. Here you can see the bottom of the screw and how it's sunk in there a little bit. So it lays flat. Um, and then here's the pin holding the base tightly, very firm, very nice. It's not, that skein isn't going anywhere. Um, and, um, anyway, but it spins really nice with the bolt snap and it's just going to be make, making, uh, purling yarn really easy. And so what I actually did, this is some extra footage is I bought some, um, Pinewood Derby, like wheel weights. They're one ounce each. They come in a pack of 20. Uh, they're like little strips of five and I just put those all around the edge of the base as you can see just for some extra weight since this thing is pretty top heavy and you're going to be pulling on it as you pull the yarn out. But that's basically it. Uh, it's a pretty easy project and thanks for watching.